To create your own customized MFI supply chain scenario, you can click Build from the home page. You will see a new MFI supply chain scenario creation page. Give your scenario a name and select the sector of the product you want to build a supply chain model for. This will populate the end product menu with options for selecting this product. Next, you have the option of customizing the quantity of material produced, or you can accept the default value of 1000 kilograms or one metric ton. Including co-production means the offsetting impacts of byproducts will be included in the supply chain, and it's generally recommended to keep this checked as is the default. Once an end product is chosen, the recipe weights table will populate with one or more product recipes and their default or baseline weights, as discussed in the Exploring Recipes chapter of this MFI how-to series. Here, you can customize the fraction of each production technology to use. Be sure that their total equals 1 and that no process has a weight less than 0. Sector Efficiency Potential, or SEP, is another customization option. SEPs represent the potential energy efficiency improvement achievable when existing process equipment is upgraded to the most efficient equipment available. Implementing SEPs increases the energy efficiency of a recipe but does not change the production technology. The default SEP for current technology is zero, but you can enter a fraction between zero and one to represent the degree to which sector efficiency potential should be implemented for each recipe. The last customization to select is the electricity mix. Since nearly every MFI supply chain model will include electricity at some point, it's important to understand the assumptions about the sources the electricity was generated from. By default, MFI assumes the electricity was generated in proportion to the sources used nationally for the year 2016, but this can be adjusted to other electricity scenarios, such as those with higher degrees of renewable energy penetration or region-specific electricity grid mixes. Here again, multiple grid mixes could be used as long as the sum of weighting fractions equals 1, but we generally recommend picking just one by setting its fraction to 1 and the rest to 0. Once the grid mix has been selected, your MFI supply chain scenario is ready to be built. All that's left to do is to save the scenario by clicking Submit. This will bring you to an overview page for the newly created scenario. From this page, you can use the buttons at the top to return to the previous page, edit your scenario, or delete the entire scenario. The yellow icon is there to remind you that any MFI scenario you create will only be visible to you and the MFI team. It is not made public for other users. When you are completely done customizing your MFI scenario, you can generate an Excel output results file, which is covered in the next chapter of the MFI how-to video series.